What is up everybody? I have been obsessed with this farming route because it is the perfect mix of easy and yieldful. Um, but first things first, make sure to have equipped mining gloves, boots, shirt, short, all of that stuff, and then of course a mining trophy, get your proficiency potions, and as well make your way on down to cutlass keys and then go into first light you're gonna want to have all your gathering points in that territory it makes things so much easier and here's what you're gonna be on the lookout for uh, oil honey and iron there is so much honey here and honey sells for one to two gold a pea because you can get so much experience so fast by cooking with ingredients used with honey. And I have a video on this, I'll link it in the description as well. So remember you can get one to two gold with honey, one to two gold with oil, and then 0.4 gold with iron, or you can expect to get about 1,500 to 2,000 iron and then some fibers, about 400 fibers, and then 1,000 honey, and 200 to 500 oil uh, in about 40 minutes. But pay attention to how I do this route so you can optimize it and get the best outcome. Uh, a lot of it is just timing the honey trees right and the oil field, and then also having no competition. I ran into a few people in my swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? Okay, all right back to the safe iron ore. Um, I hope you've been paying attention until now because another reason this is an incredible farming spot is because Cutlass Keys, Windsward, and First Light are all in the same area and you can have a house here where you'll have extra storage and then you have two other storage chests right close by. If you didn't know, these are the three closest territories together so this is a strategically advantageous position in addition to this resource location provides just about every base resource for uh, furnishing engineering and many other crafting tools and you can do those all at cutlass in a matter of days to weeks depending on your goal and you can get rawhide at the alligators and cutlass too now let's talk logistics of this route there are six clusters of honeycomb trees they usually come in two and then two come in one but those will respawn about once every 15 minutes so you want to make your way all the way around mine the iron ore as well as collect the hemp and silkweed and then the oil and to save time during the respawns just get that uh, green wood and you can make timber later with that and by the time you've done all that, you should be looking pretty nice. Nice. You can expect to walk away with 5,000 to 10,000 gold per hour. This is my inventory after about 15 to 20 minutes. I got 1,800 iron, about 500 honey, 600 fibers, 600 green wood, and 141 each wood, 268 oil, and then some miscellaneous items. As you can see, this already is worth uh over a thousand so if you just multiply that by four to get an hour we're talking about four thousand as a minimum for this method now please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will be having three videos a week from here on out and i appreciate you all